states have official nicknames. Like Wisconsin is known as the Badger State. That's a reference to the lead miners that lived in their mine shafts like badgers, henceforth the Badger State. In Oregon, they're called the Beaver State because the beaver and trapping and fur industry was so very important as the state was being settled. Well, guess what happened in Minnesota? Because of this steam locomotive right here and what Robert Ormsby Sweeney did on this date back in history, 164 years ago, February 24th, 1858, guess what? We got named after a rodent. Minnesota is the gopher state. The University of Minnesota, the Golden Gophers. That's why we're all excited about being a gopher. It was what R.O. Sweeney did on this date back in history that got Minnesota known as the Gopher State. He was born in Philadelphia, but in 1852, he moved to St. Paul. He was a pharmacist by trade, but he was also an artist, a sketch artist, and a cartoonist, a satirist, if you will. And on this date, he published this cartoon. As you can see, there's the Gopher train being pulled by gophers. What was he upset about? What got him so riled up that he published this satirical cartoon that got Minnesota named after the gopher rodent? What took him down our own little gopher hole? Well, he hated rodents. He hated gophers. He was like Bill Murray in Caddyshack. Remember Carl Spackler and how he hated those rodents? Well, Sweeney hated them too. And because the state of Minnesota had just passed a very controversial loan for $5 million to build the very first railroad in the state of Minnesota, that's why on the railroad tracks are all these politicians that are being pulled by these evil rodents with human faces. They represent the industrials that are going to use this $5 million. And you see the people underneath the railroad tracks, those with bags around their neck, bent over and stooped. Those are the nine politicians that got caught taking bribes to pass the $5 million loan to what was the Minnesota and Pacific Railway, the predecessor to the Great Northern Railway. And this was what they used that $5 million to buy. That and delay track, they bought this engine with that money that Sweeney was protesting. Man, was he mad! But it caught on. This was published over and over and over again until pretty soon, Minnesota got the reputation of being, yay, the gopher state. Sweeney's caustic cartoon, which got Minnesota named the gopher state, didn't stop the railroad. It was eventually built as the Minnesota and Pacific, but not before several bankruptcies and a change in its name to the St. Paul and Pacific Railway. And then years later, this St. Paul and Pacific became St. Paul and Manitoba. And of course, you know who ended up owning that? James J. Hill and formed the Great Northern Railway. All started in the Gopher State with that Sweeney cartoon. But you know, the Great Northern did pay homage to the Gopher, although it was a train, a real one, this one ran between Duluth Superior and St. Paul. There were two trains connected to two cities. There was the Badger and the Gopher, one paying homage to Wisconsin, the other, of course, to the Gopher State. The Gopher was the afternoon train. It was an express. It got down there in three and a half hours. The morning train was a milk run, and that took over four and a half hours to make it from the Twin Ports down to the Twin Cities. We're not done with uh, Mr. Sweeney yet, though. In 1888, he moves takes a new job. He knows everything that is piscatorial. In other words, the study of fish. Turns out he's one of the big experts on fish. So much so is he an expert that the federal government wants him to come to Duluth and build a federal fish hatchery to replenish the now very lucrative fishing industry on Lake Superior before it gets fished out. So he does, he comes here and he uses his art sketching skills again. Here's his sketch, his rendering of how he was going to build this fish hatchery on Lester River at the mouth of the Lester on the shore of Lake Superior that still exists today. Sweeney passes away in Duluth at the right old age of 89 in 1904, but we still have things to remember him by. The fish hatchery out on London Road at the mouth of the Lester River, and of course the fact that we live in the Gopher State. Here's a picture of the final destination point for the Badger and the Gopher, right here at the St. Louis County Depot in downtown Duluth. Here you see the train getting ready to depart on its way to St. Paul. The Gopher and Badger lasted right up until Amtrak days. And then, of course, Amtrak ran North Star and other trains. And we're working on the fact that we're going to return passenger train service between Duluth Superior and Minneapolis on the Northern Lights Express project. 
Of course, you don't have to wait for NLX or any other train. You can ride with us this summer on the North Shore Scenic Railroad. If you go to DuluthTrains.com and you can see all our schedule, all our pricing, all our wonderful excursions are up and set for you this summer. We'd love to see you at the Lake Spear Railroad Museum. In the meantime, go Golden Gophers and let's take care of each other.